Elamai Men present Black History Month Spotlight on Morgan State University alumni. Spotlight on Mesa Leak. Mesa Leak, born August 17, 1966 in Baltimore, Maryland. After high school, she studied music at Morgan State University in Baltimore City and graduated with a degree in classical performance. There, she performed as a member of the world-famous Morgan State University Choir under the direction of the late Nathan Carter. Leek met performer Stevie Wonder during a college performance. After receiving her degree from Morgan State University, Mesa headed to Southern California to perform with Stevie Wonder's female backup group, Wonder Love. While performing with Stevie Wonder, Mesa was a vocalist on the Jungle Fever soundtrack and performed on numerous television shows, including The Arsenio Hall Show, Oprah, and The Tonight Show. During an over-the-telephone audition in the early 1990s that Mesa became a member of the British jazz, funk, and R&B band Incognito. And in 1992, she relocated to London and recorded Tribes, Vibes, and Scribes, featuring a hit single, Don't You Worry About a Thing. Since then, Mesa has appeared on multiple Incognito recordings. This is Larry London. Welcome to Border Crossings. And in our studios today, celebrating her 26th year in music, all the way from Baltimore, Maryland, we welcome to D.C., Mesa. <laughs> well, that was a long drive. Yes, yeah, a long drive. A long trip. <laughs> well, I know you grew up in the Baltimore area, uh-huh, uh, but then you moved to L.A. Yeah, my first, I moved to L.A. Uh, in 1991. And uh, mm-hmm. you became a backup singer with Stevie Wonder? Mm-hmm. Yep. Now, how did that all come together? Well, my best friend was singing with him at my last year in school at Morgan State University in 1991. And uh, so... I uh, she asked me could I audition because Stevie was looking for an alto voice, and uh, I passed my audition. And it, it was amazing. It was a very difficult audition. I mm-hmm. uh, passed the audition, and then I moved a year later because I had one. I had to finish my degree, mm-hmm. so I had one year to go. And so a year later, I moved out to California, and Stevie was doing the Jungle Fever project with Spike Lee, and so I got to sing on that. Wow. My first. Professional Whew. gig was right that. out of the gate. <laughs> uh huh. Wow, I'm sure you you must have learned a lot at that I point did. from him. And Dude. then after that, you went and added more pressure by becoming right. <laughs> the voice of Incognito. Yeah. Yep. And uh, you were with them for what? I think nine albums or something. Um, more than that. Well, I've done so far. I think about fourteen. Fourteen albums yeah. altogether, but yeah. with Incognito, I think. Yeah, it was... with Incognito. Yeah, Incognito's fourteen. Oh about my 14. goodness! Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we've done a lot. We, yeah. we kept going. We we keep going every year. We keep doing. I think we play tag team. Like I do an album one year, and then they do an album next year. A oh, beautiful voice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank uh, you, you professionally trained, or how did yes. you develop your voice? I have a I degree mean... in classical performance from Morgan State. Um, trained to be an opera singer, but I really I did, yes. I decided I wanted to sing jazz music. Mm. When did you decide music was what you wanted to do? Wow, when I was six years old. Uh, my mother took me to see the play Pearly in Baltimore, and when Melba Moore came out on stage, mm-hmm. I lost my mind. Like, I, just, I saw all the <laughs> costumes and the lights, and when she opened her, her mouth and sang, I just like I just knew then I wanted to do whatever she was doing to make me feel that way. Wow. I wanted to do the same thing. Wow, you've done <laughs> such a, a great job and so many albums and, and touched so many lives. And, mm-hmm. of course, the awards. You were nominated yeah. for a Grammy. You won yeah. a, a Soul Train Award. Mm-hmm. That must have been a highlight for you. It was. It was fantastic. Mm-hmm. It was a surprise. You know, I was sitting in the audience, and um, I saw my... It was so loud. There was so much going on. But I saw them do the nominees. And I just looked at So I talked to my friend. I just didn't think I was going to win. So we were just talking. And they put my picture back up. And it said winner. And I was like, what Me? does it say? What? Yeah. Our guest today has been Mesa. The album is Love is a Battlefield. I'm Larry London. This is VOA TV. This has been your Black History Month Spotlight. Brought to you by Elamai Men.